guys, welcome back. Today we're going to swatch through the Orly Spring 2020 collection, which is called Feel the Beat. I purchased this six piece set at 88beauty.com. That will be in the description bar below if you'd like to shop where I shopped. I think that there are a few other places that you can snag this online right now. Or of course you can get the Orly Color Pass if you want to like subscribe for the whole year, but I just pick it up from 88 Beauty. That's a place where I shop all the time, by the way, in case you're wondering. I'm very comfortable shopping there. So. We're gonna swatch through this collection. We're gonna do live application. If you're new to my channel, I live swatch everything so that you can see my first impression, like how these polishes perform for me straight out of the bottle and get a pretty good idea for how they might apply for you. I'll also give you a full manicure, my full hand swatch so you can see how these look on the nails. So this collection is really interesting. We have these warm neutrals combined with these beautiful purples. I think it's a very interesting combo. Usually their spring collection is my least favorite that they release all year because they often have these very like sheer pale colors that just don't work as well for me as like their um, summer or fall for example, but I really like this collection. So I'm really happy that I can recommend them to you wholeheartedly. And even the interesting brown shades, those were really, really great as well. So. We're gonna go in alphabetical order. On my lips today, I have this NYX Lippy that I picked up on Clarence at Target the other day. This is the Slip Tease Lip Lacquer. It's kind of a, it's definitely not a matte product. Um, it's pretty easy to wear. It has a really interesting applicator nib. It goes like in a figure eight size, like woo, like that. And this shade is called Decadent. That's what's on my lips. Okay, so going in alphabetical order means we get to start with the two most um, tanny kind of neutrals. The other, the third neutral is going to come very last and it's more like on the blush neutral side. So, first up we're going to start with this caramel, it's like a glowing caramel tan and this one is called Glow Baby and this was fantastic. I really like this one. It gets opaque at just one coat, it had a fantastic formulation. Um, yeah, really, really easy to wear, so I really like this one. So if you needed a really warm, glowy, it has a gold, glowy shimmer going all throughout it, if you need one of those kind of neutrals in your life, this one's great. So this one's Glow Baby. I did two coats because I'm going to do two coats of everything just for consistency's sake. Um, some of the more sheer ones, you might want three coats, but I just did two of everything today. Next up, we have the other... Um, brown neutral shade and this one is kind of a brick red kind of brown but definitely on the more subdued side it doesn't have quite as much of a bite but it has a lot of red in it this brown does and I love it I think it's beautiful this is called in the groove I'm gonna do two coats of this it is still you know nice and opaque I just did two coats it's very easy to use not overly watery which is sometimes the case with some Orly's so I thought this was beautiful. When I saw the collection and I opened it up, I was like, whoa, that is a weird polish to put in this collection, but it's such a fun color and I'm really glad that it played really well on the nail. So this is In The Groove. Okay, next up we have something that looks very Orly Spring to me. And this one is called Lilac You Mean It. And it's a soft, dusty lilac shade with a strong fuchsia glow. It probably could be a little stronger, but it's pretty good and you're gonna want two to three coats on this one depending on your nails and how you you know how much visible nail line you're okay with but I did think that this was really pretty it's not my fave out of the collection but it is nice and it's just a very soft perfect shade for spring this one made a lot of sense to me so that is lilac you mean it and I did two coats next up we have a polish that again I feel like it's very interesting that they included those neutrals and then this color is like a neon purple. It's a neon fuchsia. Orly does neons really, really great. This is maybe a little subdued for an Orly neon, but still, I found it very interesting that they put it in this collection, but I like it. I really, really like it. It has fantastic formula. You could probably wear this at one coat. This is called Lips Like Sugar. Beautiful, beautiful color. So this collection's a little bit of a grab bag. They're giving us some neutrals, some soft pastel-y colors, some shimmer, and then this bright neon so interesting not mad at it and next we have another purple so this collection was just made for us purple lovers this is a strong shimmer almost glass fleck kind of shimmer because that means it's like a little bit bigger and it's beautiful it's called magic moment it is purple it's got this kind of dusty mauvey gray purple base 
but the glass fleck is this beautiful bright purple to blue kind of color and you could probably get away with this at two coats i'm just showing you two coats in the live swatch for me when i went to go swatch this on my full nails i decided to go for a third coat you could also probably wear this as a topper if you'd like to so this is really interesting and if you like a great glow you're gonna love this one and last up we have this slightly blush toned peachy nude shade and this is called sweet thing at first i thought it said sweet thing and i was really excited <laughs> <laughs> but it's sweet thing and this one gets nice opacity at just two coats again you could go for a third if you want this color to be like really tight in pigmentation might be a good idea to do a third coat but I just did two for the live swatches today and this one was a tiny bit runny for me but I did enjoy it as well and it's almost like a palette cleanser for all of those bright hot purples and again such an interesting fun color combination for this collection just it feels like it's two separate collections honestly it feels like these warm colors go in their own collection and the purples go in their own collection but they're combining them I guess to give us a variety of things to play with so you know you can wear your beautiful hot purples on your more playful days and days when you just need to be in the chill zone you can wear these beautiful neutrals. So I hope you enjoyed this and found it helpful. Let me know down in the comments what you think. Like I said, overall, I usually have a little bit of a harder time with Orly's spring collection and this time, just specifically because of formula, this time, not at all. So I was very happy about that and totally recommend these colors to you, especially if you enjoy the shades. And that's gonna be it for this review. So thanks for coming by to spend a little bit of your time with me today. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you back very soon. Bye.